I'm Trisha Gray from singlikeastar.com. Welcome to How to Project Your Voice. Projection and power are not the same as pushing. Power is efficiency and balance between the vocal cords and the air pressure. The vocal cords must come together or adduct to resist the air. They open and close in a cycle. The amount of time they stay together or closed is called the closed quotient. You don't want your vocal cords closed all the time or you get no sound. That would be a closed quotient of 100%, like this. No sound. If they stay open all the time, you get a very breathy sound. <sighs> if the vocal cords are not appropriately adducted, the resulting sound is going to be airy, breathy, and weak. <sighs> the greater the closed quotient or time they stay together in the open and closed cycle is what creates power in our voice. We increase power by gradually building strength through vocal training and repetition. The vocal apparatus will adapt to appropriate challenges, and that is what voice lessons and vocal exercises are for. Just as an athlete needs to train his body and develop his muscles, the singer needs to develop the vocal apparatus with vocal exercises and consistent training through voice lessons. Remember, too, that you always want to create release and balance in your voice before you go for power. If you go for power too soon before you've created release and balance in your voice, you're going to be incorporating extrinsic and unnecessary muscles, such as the muscles of the neck and the tongue. To increase power, repeat an exercise at three volume levels, soft, medium, and loud, making sure that as you increase volume, you're not adding any muscle tension. So soft might be mezzo piano, Medium might be mezzo forte, and loud is called forte. Feel a sense of ease throughout and never a feeling of straining. Remember too that all volume levels are approximate. You only want to sing as loudly as you're able to sing without forcing. The voice is going to develop power as a natural byproduct of doing these vocal exercises correctly. There's no need to push or strain the vocal instrument for greater sound. Let's try to create more power in our voice by using a neigh with a repeater like this. Nay, 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 nay. Now I'm going to start that softly, go to a medium volume, and then a loud volume. So, nay, 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 nay. Louder. Nay, 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 nay. Even louder. Nay, 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 nay. Nay, 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 nay. That's soft. Nay, 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 nay. And then loud, forte. Nay, 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 nay. Nay, 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 nay. Medium. Nay, 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 nay. And then loud. Nay, 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 nay. Another way to do this is to start with the repeater, with a repeater at the top like this. Nay, 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 nay. That's called mezza di voce, gradually increasing the volume, also known as crescendo. Nay, 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 Another great way to work this exercise is with, with what we call a broken arpeggio, like this. Nay, 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 nay. So we're going to take that at soft, medium, and loud volumes. Nay, 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 the use of these exercises done consistently will absolutely help you to increase the power in your voice. I'm Trisha Gray from singlikeastar.com and this has been How to Project Your Voice. I'm Trisha Gray from Sing Like a Star Studios in Atlanta, Georgia. Please visit my website at www.singlikeastar.com where you can take lessons via Skype, iChat, and speakerphone. And you can see more of my videos on YouTube slash Trisha Gray, T-R-I-C-I-A-G-R-E-Y. You can sing.